Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, and the games continue. So, last night, late last night, I get an email from, saying truth, from Anonymous. Now, I was already surprised because I haven't gotten an anonymous email since, I don't know, September, October. There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. Because these anonymous emails are still generally trackable under court order. So why would you want to put a court into play? I don't know. So that's problem issue number one. So let's read this. I will comment as I read this. Since all three of you shit on Michael, the cat is out of the bag. I can just say it how it is. Not quite perfect grammar, but the spelling so far is correct. And, oh my, who gives a shit about Michael than other than Michael? So... You three dumb shits really messed up. He handed over your secret cabal chat, lock, stock, and barrel to me. Okay. Honestly, since the beginning of the year, if not earlier, we knew that Michael was likely working for someone trying to get information. We want information. I am not a number. I'm a free man. Well, Michael, you are a number. That is for sure. But when somebody starts asking you questions from within your tight group, uh, oh, what, what exactly is going, what exactly are you telling so-and-so? Or what are you submitting? Because I want to make sure I submit the same stuff. No. no. When certain information that you share with this individual to see if it comes back, comes back. And anonymous emails, not to me, but to Tom and Don, because again, I am directly involved in illegal action. Um, and we get the feedback that tells us that, yes, there's specificness to these emails that could only be from somebody feeding information to somebody else. There's not much in these chats that's going to be very useful to uh, anybody. But let's go on from there. So much for your slap judgment you think you are getting. What happens, happens. But it's certainly not going to be affected by anything Michael did. I can guarantee you that. His statements he is making for me are going to burn you. Wah. Don the con and Tom the loser to the ground. Well, now here's another problem with this email. The anonymous individual who likes to email Don and occasionally Tom and make comments even about me in those emails, um, has a specific insult about Tom that they never failed you. Just like calling 10 car 10 car, they think it's fucking hilarious. Um, Tom the loser is not it. It's not it. So another hint that this isn't really where you think it might be coming from. You see, when you betray someone, make sure they can't burn you all to the ground. Nobody betrayed Michael. Michael betrayed everybody else. Michael knows what side of history to be on. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm sure he does. And he's still picked the wrong side, but that's okay. Tell Don and Tom I hope they like Club Fed. Well, now... We look at this and we know who it is supposed to appear to be as if it's from. But there's a lack of typos. Everything is spelled right. The grammar could be tweaked, but I'm not I'm not here to be an English teacher critiquing somebody's angry work. And by the way, you don't get the usual angry 
quasi disjointed email that usually goes to Don or Tom. So, based upon the fact that I don't get anonymous emails anymore, number one, based upon the fact that, two, there's no misspellings, there's no typos at all in this paragraph, which is unheard of in anonymous emails and trolling on you on the YouTube channel. This doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. Calling Tom the wrong insult when there's only one, and I'm not going to give it away. I'm not going to give it away. If this individual who wrote this, and I'm asking you all, in the comments to this video, tell me, tell the world who you think wrote this email. Tell the world who you think wrote this anonymous email. Because I'll tell you, I don't know. But I certainly got strong fucking suspicions as to who wrote this email. But I'm not going to give you my suspicions and ruin, and ruin your fun. What was that, Rach? I said, here's a hint. They're really boring. Oh, here's a hint. They're really boring. Well, Rach, you can see that from this email. Yeah. So. Uh huh. And again, only one, in my opinion, only one person thinks Michael is betrayed. So, folks, let me know what you think. Give me your thoughts. Give me your feedback. Give me your conjectures. I'd like to hear also why do you think this email was written like this? Why do you think it was written to appear to be from somebody? It most likely isn't. Um, is it an attempt to get somebody in trouble? I don't know. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? To be uh, interfering in a court case. I don't know. But give me your feedback. Folks, I know it's an extra early morning uh, video. It couldn't wait, and I'll be out all day. I I have a life. Oh, I, I, have, I have a niece, and I'll be with my niece. All right, folks, on that note, as always, be safe, be well, God bless, roll those dice, roll them well. There is a live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern. Myself, the wonderful, the Gregorious, Glenn Hallstrom, Old Man Grognard. We look forward to seeing you here. And, by the way, there will be a live stream tomorrow night, Gamers Health, 8 p.m. And the topic should be a good one. I am thinking uh, we're going to do something about... Uh, uh, playing the victim's card. Well, playing the victim card. And uh, I think it will be very insightful. But on that note, God bless. I'll catch you all later.